Alright, so here we have a lovely Microsoft Surface Book version 1 and the unit, uh, the actual computer portion, you know, the top screen here, the tablet, is working just fine. Problem is, the battery that's uh, contained in the keyboard uh, has failed. Uh, to get started, uh, what I want to do is just to make things less complex, I want to remove the tablet itself. Uh, and uh, if I plug it in and I press and hold down the detach button, nothing happens. So I'll show you how to do it manually and I'll put up a graphic here explaining what's happening right now. But basically what you need to do is get yourself a nice stiff paper clip, so a serious one, not a little garbagey one. And you need to go up six notches from the bottom. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And people will tell you to push it in. Nope, that's not right. Put it in at a, a 45 degree angle and push and you will see the mechanism will release there it is now it's magnetic so you got to be careful not to get it reattached i get it reattached all the time when i do this so let me go up again one two three four five six there it is and did i get did i get that off there it is oh and i got the other one back on <laughs> As I said, not a big deal. Just do it again. Come on, detach. There it is. So now I've got the tablet. Yay. I'll put that away so I don't damage it. Then I've got the keyboard. And I'll flatten that out just so it's easy. I'll put this down. There we go. Now what we need to do is take this apart. And you think, well, where's the screws? Yeah, there aren't any. So what you have to do is uh, get rid of the a bond that's holding this back plate to the keyboard. And uh, the way you do that is with uh, heat and with a razor blade. So you'll notice here that there's a channel that goes all the way around. And uh, that channel uh, below it will have uh, basically tape, double-sided tape, really strong double-sided tape. So we need to break that bond, but we don't want to destroy it because we want to put this back back on after we change the battery. So how do we do that? Well, you can use a hairdryer, but I have a heat gun. So I'm gonna use a heat gun and I've gotta be very careful with it so I don't destroy either the table that it's on or the uh, unit itself. I wanna make sure that I don't warp any of the metal and you know, so on and so forth. So, all right, so let's get to it. Now I'm going to put a block of paper down. This is just a standard 500 sheet ream of paper. I'm gonna put that down because I'd rather have that burn than my desk. These are the tools I'm going to use. Number one, I'm going to use a razor blade. Any razor blade will do. And what you want to do to make sure it's thin enough is just to simply look at that groove that goes around the outside and the channel and put your blade in there and make sure you can push it down and have it stand up. If you can, that'll be enough. That's great. Second thing I've got is credit card. All right, so just a piece of plastic. And I actually also have a proper, you know, uh, separation tool but, um, you know, an opening tool, but you don't need this. This is just uh, because I may want multiple tools to pry as I go. Okay, so let's get to this now. So I'm gonna start with the heat and I'm just gonna put it on low. I don't want it to, uh, to crank too much yet. There we go. So get it in, push it down firmly, and then try to pry it up. Watch your eyes in case that blade breaks. You'll see that it starts to separate, like it has there. Then you can hopefully get a credit card or something in there. And that is the key. Once you've got a card in, you're good to go. So I'm gonna to try to get this card in, right there. And then I will simply move it around as I heat in advance. Let's see here, okay, it's a little stuck.
Okay, this seems to be just too stiff, so I am going to move to my other tool, but you could just use another razor blade. Um, so let's just go here. And again, you don't want to apply too much pressure because you don't want to warp it. You don't want to damage anything. So let's just go back to the, let's use this guy. Once we can get that in, there we go. Now we can just slide it around. Oops. But that's the key, just sliding it around. There we go, that's in. And now I just have to move it around. So I heat and slide. And I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch all of this because once you've got the start of it, well, you pretty much got the idea. I'll speed it up. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, all right? I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. Okay. So here, let's just show you what's inside there. You can see, oh, let's pull that, that out because that doesn't need to be there. See, that's the battery right in there. And yeah, so now what we have to do is pry this off. Now keep in mind that this is metal and you can see where it's stuck. Maybe you can't, but it, it's stuck right in there and we just need to pry it off. It's just what it is. So I'm gonna heat this up a little bit in here. Problem is there's battery there and you really don't want to overheat battery. So <laughs> that would be bad, really bad. So it's just, it's all stuck and glued and you, you just want to make sure that it's, you know, as little damage as you can do. So let's go here. go. I heard that. I heard that. Now keep in mind that there are some connectors under here. You don't want to tear those out. So or you, you've got yourself garbage if you do that. But I'll show you those in a second so you don't make that mistake. There we go. Come on. Get unstuck. There it is. Yay. Okay, so now you see, let's go this way. You've got this little header here, this little connector, and you just pop, pop it out. Not a big deal. On um, each side, there's a pry point. You could use a pry tool like this, but you don't need to. You can just use your fingernail. Okay, see there's just a little edge on it, and that's it. There you go. Now I just need to replace this. And again, this is glued down, so I'm going to heat this up, and I'm going to take this off, and I'll put the new one on. So I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally like to do, which is to heat it up. Uh, now, I'm certainly not going to heat it from this side because, well, this isn't really where the uh, problem is, right? The problem, the adhesive is in between and it's a much shorter distance here. It's also a lot safer. So, I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to do, let's do this cell first. So, uh, I'm going to start here with my heat gun. You could use a hair dryer if that's what you've got. But in my case, this heat gun will put out a fair amount of heat. And hopefully that helps loosen it up without expanding the battery too much and causing me potential harm. Because I'm not a big fan of potential harm. So I'm moving it around in addition just to spreading the heat out because I don't want the heat to concentrate in any one area. So that's, in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. Check heat with the back of your hand, by the way, in case you didn't take shop class in high school. <laughs> 
don't check with the front of your hand. Uh, if you do, you'll have a tendency to grab and that will just get you a bigger burn. So that would be a bad idea like that, right? So use the back of your hand. Okay, that seems nice and warm to me. Now let's see what I can get with this. Yeah, that battery's warm. That's as warm as I'd like that to be, I can tell you. So let's see what I can do with my card here now. Oh, it's moving a little bit more. Oh yeah, okay, so that's it, so that is it. So heat it up, that's the answer here. And I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch because I'm obviously gonna have to do this through a whole bunch of steps. So just sit back and enjoy. Oh yeah. Insurance card because it hasn't been valid in a couple of years. So yeah, you go right ahead if you think you can get something out of it. So there's the old battery pack. Let's get the new one. Uh, and for some reason this one, oh, interesting, this one ships with a plastic coating on it. I'm sure that's supposed to come off. Yep, so there we go. And let's just, whoops, get rid of the old pack. I want to pull off as much of this goo around the outside as I can before we put on new tape. Uh, so I'm going to start with the exterior and I'm just going to take a blade, razor blade, and I'm just going to shave it off. Uh, should be perfect. I'm not going to. I just don't have the patience and it's an older laptop and I just don't have to do it. So what I want to do is just make sure there's not any bumps in here. So I've just got to get this as smooth as I can. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit here and wait and get old watching me strip away junk. Uh, I'm going to pull the battery out. And I'm going to do something similar, but not near as good. I'm just going to scrape out what I can here to get rid of any bumps. Um, and I want to make sure that I don't touch any electronics with this blade, of course, because that's not good. And yeah, so I'm not going to do this completely textbook. What I should be using is some uh, propyl geez, some uh, alcohol, um, isopropyl alcohol, right, to um, strip this down and clean it up. But I'm not going to do that because I just don't have the time or the interest to do that good a job. So I'm not going to, and I don't think you have to. I just want to get rid of the heavy goo here and any, specifically any bumps. Now I'm just going to blow this out. Uh, now to do this properly, I could heat it up a bit. I could get some alcohol on it, rubbing alcohol. Uh, but again, that's not my goal. My goal is not to do this absolutely perfectly. My goal is to get this thing back together and get this very old laptop back to being fully functional. So uh, while you're here, blow out the fan, okay? Uh, doesn't cost anything. It's just a good idea. Just blow this all out. Make sure there's nothing. Uh, I can see there's still fuzzies here. I want to get rid of those. Okay, so you definitely don't want to take this battery pack and put it onto here and stick it down uh, because that's still sticky and it will stick. You don't want to do that. That's a really bad idea because you're not going to get it quite straight. So what you want to do, put the battery pack in here instead. This is the natural way you're going to want to put the battery in like this because you remember the writing standing up. So you're going to put it like this, lay it inside here, and you're going to try to jam this in. It's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because, in fact, the battery is glued to the back plate here. So this has to be flipped over. And so what you have to do is put it in this way. And then you will be fine. It will just slip in and you won't have any trouble. There you go. It's in nice and tight. Flip that over, lay it down. So now what we need to do is get our double-sided tape, which you can buy online for really not very much, for a couple of dollars, and just roughly work this out. So. I'm just going to eyeball this because it does not need to be exact. We are not trying to make something that's perfect. We're trying to make something that's good. Okay, that's a little bit too long. That's okay. I kind of 
screwed up the edge anyway. So let me just, I'm just using standard scissors on this. There we go. Now let's lay this down along this edge. And this is, I use uh, two mil tape because two mil seems to work on everything from cell phones to whatever. So you just put it down and press it in. There you go. You want to make sure it's pressed in particularly well on the metal on metal parts. So that's one piece done. And now what we can do is you just take some, well, you can take uh, really anything with a sharp edge or a fine edge like these and just sort of pull back the tape itself, pull back the paper. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife here. There it is, and it just lifts up. Dandy. So that's one done. Uh, this one I'm just going to lay out. Eh, it's about that long. It's good. Now take the back, and remember, those two black patches are what matches up with those two. So don't put it on like this, with the Microsoft logo facing you, if you have the battery facing you, you need to put it on the opposite way, right? So that patch is gonna end up on that, and that one on, yeah, so let's just flip, and start from the one side, squidge it down. Push hard. You won't damage it. There you go. If you're really worried about it, you could take your heat gun and apply a little bit of heat to have it sort of jam in, you know, fill in some holes and gaps and stuff. But I don't think we have to do that. And now, look at that. That's not coming off. That is solid, right? So that is one awesome sauce keyboard. Hee haw. And uh, this is lifted up a bit, so just because I'm here, I'm going to add the, uh, I'll add some double-sided tape to that. That's good, that's good. Yep, everything now seems very solid. Voila, one keyboard. One Microsoft Surface keyboard, nice and solid with a nice brand new battery. Yeah, I can see the keyboard's backlit. So that's all happiness. Yay. Okay, I just used the keyboard, so I know it's working. Look at that. All right, that's the, the start button, and that is happy. 